So Taraji P. Henson has an interview with uh, CNN, I believe it is, where she talks about how she had to fight, right? And she talks a little bit about fighting for a worthy pay wage takes the joy out of acting for her, right? It, I think it will take the joy out of anybody. Let's just keep, let's keep it real. Let's keep it 100, right? <laughs> I think if anyone has to sit up there and really talk about or fight for pay instead of being like, hey, you know what? You are doing an amazing job. Uh, we see videos. We see you in all these movies. We want you to be in this movie. How much do you want to be paid, right? It really does bring to my mind that she should be a content creator. Like she really needs to become a content creator. As a content creator, you get to pay your own self, right? You choose your money. Now, obviously there, it isn't all positive, but you get to do what you kind of want to do and ask for the payment that you want versus this like old way of thinking where it's like, oh yeah, you got to wait for Hollywood to deem you as appropriate and then pay you. So I want to play a little bit of this clip here and just to show you guys what she said and then we'll go ahead and give a reaction for that so let me pull it back a bit here yeah what does that do to you that's why i'm not excited anymore i can't i can't, I can't pull it back hold on trying to pull it back having technical difficulties oh didn't mean to do that okay so 2018 was when i finally got a real quote and that is the last time that i i haven't gotten a raise since then and every, each and every project that I have, I have to fight for that. You still have to fight. I have to fight for that. Yeah. What does that do to you? That's why I'm not excited anymore. It takes the... It takes of all it. of that away. And I know what other people are getting paid. What do you think that's about? It's about me being a woman and a black woman. I still don't think that this town respects what black women bring to the table. So to that. So that is what she said. And I agree, right? Obviously I'm not in entertainment. I'm a content creator. I get on this here, YouTubes and I do my content and my reactions. However, I gotta say, I think she's onto something with this one. A uh, majority of the time when I speak to entertainers and folks that I help with their social media, I'm hearing these same kind of stories, right? I'm hearing the value conversation coming up a lot. I'm hearing the conversation just around being able to pay bills and things like that, right? Where it's like, you, so many people know you, you have a large following. If folks that are over here that don't have, let's just put it out there, don't have the amount of influence, let me use that word, that you have then there should be other ways for you to monetize. And so a lot of the times when I'm telling the celebrity clients and folks is that we need to find ways to have passive income for you and ways that you monetize three to four times over, okay? There should be no reason why you have to wait for Hollywood to cut you a bigger check just to equate to the value that you already have brought into this world, to our entertainment spaces, all of that. But then let's talk a little bit about this whole conversation around Black women being compensated correctly. This isn't only happening in entertainment. We know this. This isn't only happening in entertainment. I uh, started a Facebook group a while ago called uh, Pay Black Women because I had a conversation with someone who was of a different hue. And that individual said, you know what? We would love to have more people of color. We just don't know where to find them. And I'm like, really? How many times do we need to have this conversation? So I was like, well, maybe I should create a platform where you, you all can find Black service providers and pay them. If you're trying to say it's hard to find them, but I'm sure you can go and go, you, do your Googles and find somebody you can pay and find someone of a different hue that you can bring in to do, render the services that you need, right? So I think the conversation that Taraji needs to have right now is, should I become a content creator? Should I just take my take this into my own hands, right? I think she can do so much, right? She can teach courses. She can write books, obviously. I believe she has one. You guys have to let me know. Let me know in the comment section if she has a book already. But she also has a a beauty hair, skin, uh, beauty, I think it's beauty hair and skin, uh, skincare line that I hear is absolutely amazing. Go check out the short that I did on that. I'll go ahead and link to the short in the description. But I hear that this particular hair care products that she put together are freaking amazing. So at this point, I'm kind of like, hmm, right? Because she's absolutely 120% making a point that there definitely needs to be more of an effort and more of an awareness around how much Black actresses 
are getting paid and should be paid, and they should be equally paid to their counterparts who are of a different hue. Let's just put that out there. There's a meme that's going around, but uh, well, let me not go there first. Let me just say this. Let me put a pin in this. And let me say, she also has had this conversation around her team and around her team not getting her her just due. I would love to hear whether or not that team had Black people on it, okay? I would also love to hear some of the things that the team did do that maybe didn't equal out to what she equated it to, you know, what she wanted, right? And how she should have gotten commercials and things to that effect, right? I'm going to tell you right now, as someone that uh, I constantly get folks that come to me, they're like, hey, I want you to give me brand deals. It's like, well, here's the thing with that. Number one, working on commission to get brand deals is a bit of a it's a task. Let me just say it this way. It's a task and a half. There has to be a lot more output that goes out in order for you to even get the relationship with a brand. But then it also has to be a particular strategy that happens so that you can get in front of brands that really want to work with you. I think when the most of the times, and I haven't had the higher level brand conversation, so I'm not going to even talk about celebrity brands. I'll talk about on the level with content creators. When you are creating content and when you are working on a strategy that gets in front of particular brands, you have to do that consciously. There has to be a real purpose right behind it. And you actually have to strategize and go, okay, here's my strategy. Here's my plan. We're going to do X, Y, and Z to get that person over there to notice me or to collaborate with them or build a relationship. When you're on a level uh, like a celebrity, then you're definitely Yes, doing media, but also connecting with people that probably either already have the relationship, which they're going to take of the brand partnership and the brand deal, or they're willing to go out there and I mean, hit the pavement. I mean, sending, you know, somewhere between 500 to 700 different emails every single day. Now with ChatGPT, that could be a little bit easier, but I digress. But it takes, what I'm saying is it's a lot of work. It's not easy. It isn't just as simple as, oh, let's go ask X, Y, and Z brand. And Honda to be our sponsor and, 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 you know, we'll do a commercial for them eh, because as she said, she needs to be paid properly and compensated properly for the value that she brings. Right. However, I don't, uh, to be honest on the whole team conversation, she should have had a Shopify, a Gumroad, a link tree, something set up. Right. Uh, and the fact that I'm just now hearing about her beauty products and her hair care products, that is a huge problem. Team should have taken care of that. When I am on a celebrity's team, when I'm on a content creator's team, an influencer, the folks that I work with usually have larger audiences. They generate a lot of revenue or they generate a lot of uh, interest and they're able to make sales and things to that effect. So they bring me on for more or less strategy and looking for additional revenue streams and passive income. Okay. When I work along with my folks, right, with my clients, I know what I need to do and I do it. You don't necessarily have to tell me what to do because you're hiring me for my expertise. I'm not coming in here to be on your quote unquote team and only you tell me what to do and then I do it, right? So I think that that could be a problem too. Sometimes you need to hire experts and not hire just people that take up space. You hire people that are experts in what they do because you don't have to tell an expert what to do. They're just gonna come in, okay, cool. You want the service? You hired me to do X, Y, and Z. This is what I'm gonna do for you, right? That needs to be clearly defined because sometimes that kind of gets lost in translation as well, what I'm doing versus what. And then sometimes it also morphs into something else, right? For one of my clients, I came on to do brand deals and things, but my understanding was that the brand deals would come in and it would be just me managing them, which I did a, a little bit of that. But then once I realized that this individual actually just needed content repurposing. So I started working on more on their YouTube channel and working more on that presence and then making sure that their content was spread all over so that they were getting paid for from all of the platforms and not just one because they were only getting paid. Actually, they weren't even getting paid for one. <laughs> they were getting penny paid from none of the platforms and they had a huge, huge following. And so I went ahead and turned on monetization because if you don't turn on monetization on these platforms, they will not pay you. Okay. So I turned on monetization. I went in, I started to work with this individual and I figured out, oh, actually what they need is they need X instead of what I came on for. So we had a conversation and we moved to a different status or a different play, right? If you're doing anything with marketing, all that good stuff, it's not just you telling the people what to do. They need to come in and you actually need to interview them. And you also need to hire experts. Sometimes it isn't just 
people on your team is actually hiring experts that have expertise that can bring that information and that knowledge and those skills to you to your team, right? And deliver it to you. All right. So that's my conversation on Taraji. I don't want to go too long. I feel as though she's absolutely right. Number one, I don't even have to be in the entertainment scene to let you know if that's happening. And I believe her all the way that that's happening. But I do want to say that she should take the matters into her own hands. We cannot ask someone else to pay our value when they don't see our value. And they've consistently shown that they don't value and do not acknowledge the value that we bring to the space. Because over and over and over again, history has, has shown itself that they don't. Right. What we need to do, though, is find the people that do value us, find the clients and the organizations and the, the folks that are like, hey, listen, you over here, come on. Right. Because we have examples. She has plenty of examples. She has is array, which we've talked about on TikTok. Right. Has built herself up from a YouTube channel and turned herself into an actress from a content creator into an actress and does both be honest with you quite well. And then has several other businesses and entrepreneurial endeavors, right? We've seen this with Rihanna, who has started off with, you know, doing her singing and music and things to that effect, and then morphed into doing a little bit of acting, but also now is an entrepreneur looking at that billion dollars. And I think she might be at a billion. I'm not quite sure. You guys don't quote me on that. But, right, we look at Beyonce, right? Obviously, she's doing music. She's not entertaining, but... I mean, not an uh, actress, but you get what I'm saying, right? We look at Tracy Ellis Ross. She has no problem with doing the YouTubes, the TikToks, the whatever. She's like on Instagram talking about her hair. She is on it, baby, on it. So I think Taraji needs to just take a moment to step back and just acknowledge that she has so much value to bring. She doesn't have to worry about or even deal with people that do not want to pay her value. But look at like what, what it is is what it is, sis, right? What it is is what it is. And how do we now move in the digital space to make sure you're compensated properly for all the value that you bring, every little piece of it, and then monetize appropriately, right? Find the right business model that you can use in your business, right? And I talked about this Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon has a whole book club that she's taken and then turned that into movies and profit. And I know that I've seen on uh, Taraji P. Henson's IMDb that she has, you know, producer credits and things that that might be a road she wants to travel down, right? Uh, someone on my TikTok also mentioned that Tyler Perry writes his own checks and that she needs to write her own checks as well. I agree with that. Sometimes, even with entrepreneurs in, you know, when we were working in corporate and we have to move out because now we are seeing that these folks don't really value us. We start our own businesses. We create products. We move and shake, right? So you can be speaking on somebody's stage. I'm sure are several people's stages. And I think a piece of this is her understanding monetization, brand monetization, and then getting in the rooms with people that can actually give her the roadmap, the model, the plan, and individualize it for her, customize it for her. That's what I'm saying. What do you guys think? Do you believe that Taraj P. Hitchens should become a content creator and start utilizing and monetizing her brand, utilizing digital media? I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section. My name is Jessica. I go at Josh Speaks Digital, and I'll see you all in the next video. Please. You all know, I love to talk about content monetization, especially when we talk about women being paid and compensated their worth and their value. Value and worth is hugely important to me. If that's something that's hugely important to you as well, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel and leave your thoughts down in the comments down below. I cannot wait to see you, hopefully, and meet you in person or create content with you here in our digital media space. Peace.